coming up with Prophet Embassy Church of Our Nation. On 21st February 2020, during a prophetic overnight vigil, servant of God, Prophet William Prince, refused a prophetic message regarding excess rainfall. The different countries will suffer excess rainfall, while others will suffer drought. This is what he said. Up into prayer, pray concerning the things that we need to pray for. Those who are writing, they can write it down right now. This is a prophetic word. Number two, different countries will suffer excessive rainfall, while others will suffer drought. Now, I don't know where our country will be. Different countries will suffer excessive rainfall when other will suffer drought. Tika kwa mtoni ndiyo yu machingine na toka semu samara kwa etkule. Rivers of mud sweeping through villages in the west of Kenya. In their path, homes, marketplaces, a police station and schools. In West Pocket, days of heavy rains. Locals pull survivors from the debris left behind. Many areas are still waiting for official rescue teams to arrive. We ran to the other side of the ridge and that's when we saw the floodwaters. It came down in a big wave and destroyed this whole shopping center and carried away all the animals and two cars. Most roads have been cut off and bridges washed away. Locals say they've had to carry flood victims to nearby health centers on their backs. This used to be a big market, but now it looks like a river. There were many shops here. Before yesterday, this was a vibrant shopping center, but everything is gone now. Everything has been swept away and it's very distressing. The government and all relevant agencies need to come here, and as we speak, several people are still missing. Kenya's Red Cross warns that once the floodwaters clear, other threats loom. They fear waterborne diseases and a possible increase in coronavirus infections. In November, Al Jazeera filmed Tamkal village in Western Pokot. After days of torrential rain, flooding and landslides, entire families here were killed. Communities surrounded by floodwaters and isolated. Days later, families went out in search of their relatives' bodies. Many say it was the worst disaster that they'd seen in a lifetime. Researchers say warming oceans are causing unpredictable weather patterns in eastern Africa. And with more rain expected in the coming days, help may be slow coming to these villages. And the problems may not be over. Laura Burden Manley, Al Jazeera. Thank you.